Chapter 58 To Brother Stone Dear Brother Stone, I have a message to bear to you from the Lord. I should have written to you during the Minneapolis meeting, but the current setting in the direction of doubt and the unbelief of the testimonies was so strong that I had no liberty to present to others the counsel of God in their case. I was bidden by the Lord to wait, for warnings and reproofs would have no effect. Only as he should lead and impress me must I speak. Our brethren had not a heart to receive anything that would humble their pride. If it were presented, they would be offended or stumble at the word, for such was the spirit that prevailed in that meeting, and under its influence many would move rashly. More recently your case has again been presented before me. I was shown that for a long time your thoughts and feelings, your spirit and deportment, have not been of a character to give you moral solidity, to make you a man of holy influence. After the death of your wife, the weakness of your character was evinced in your attentions to young girls. Your familiarity was an injury to them, making impressions on their minds unfavorable to their spiritual advancement. The difficulty is in your heart. It was not pure. You have not had Christ abiding in you by faith. You have not kept the way of the Lord. You have not abstained from the very appearance of evil. Your own ways, your own feelings, your appetites and passions have held sway until you have placed yourself where you are now trammeled and are inclined to please yourself irrespective of the counsel of God.